So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover about under damped, over damped and critically damped system. So whenever the damping is present in the system, uh, then uh, the whole system can be categorized into uh, based upon the damping. The whole system can be categorized into three part, uh, sections: under damped, over damped, and critically damped. So by under damped, what we mean is that suppose your damping factor is smaller than one, then that uh, system can be called as an under damped system. If your uh, damping factor is greater than one, then that system will be called as an over damped system. Similarly, if your damping is equal to one, then uh, that will be called as an critically damped system. Now, under the damped system, there are different categories. Like it's just, uh, if you're saying smaller than one, so there will be three cases. If your damping factor is equal to zero, if your damping factor is positive, but smaller than one, or your damping factor is smaller than a zero, or it's a, a negative value. So let's start. So suppose if we take the first case of an under damp system in which the damping factor is equal to zero. So just by looking at the plot, what we can say is that if uh, the damping factor is zero and the mass element is set up in motion, the natural motion will conti uh, continue indefinitely in the theory. Now, what I actually mean by this is that suppose if there is no damping present in your system and you have provided some excitation. So what will happen is that the amplitude of that motion that is initially set up in the system will not decay with time. Now, the another case is that when your damping is positive but is smaller than one. Now, in this case, if you look at the plot, what we can see is that the amplitude of the motion is continuously decreasing with time. So we can say is that it is trying to approach its initial equilibrium position like we can say that it is going to approach a value of zero. Now, the another thing to note in this plot is that the motion is oscillatory and periodic. The second thing is that the motion is decaying in an exponential manner. So even though in this plot you can't see directly see that why I am saying that this, uh, the decay is exponential in nature. But if you just try to plot this, uh, just try to connect all the maximum amplitudes so you can uh, uh, see that the plot that you will get is an exponential curve. So that's why we, uh, we are saying that the plot, the amplitude decay is exponential in nature. And further, when we are going to solve this equation using the uh, ODE, we can directly say that uh, see that why I am saying that is the decay is exponential in nature. Now, in this case, the another thing to no point uh, note is that this system can be called as a stable system. So when I'm calling a stable system, so what does this mean? Like what does me mean by stability? So the basic definition of stability is that suppose if you have provided any uh, excitation to a structure and that structure is coming back to its equilibrium position. So we can say that the, that system is dynamically stable or that if the stiffness is positive, then that is statically stable. But in this case, you can see that after vibrating for some time, the structure is coming back to its initial equilibrium position. So this system is dynamically stable. Plus, it, we can also see that this system is also statically stable. So we will discuss further about this. But for now, this uh, the, uh, the system is coming back to its initial equilibrium position. So we can say that the system is stable. Now, if we take a, a case in which your damping is smaller than zero it means it's a negative value let's see if we solve the equation what we are going to get so if we look at this plot so the amplitude is not decaying with time it's growing with time so this system is unstable because it's not uh, it's never going to achieve its initial equilibrium position so this system is unstable the another thing to note in this case also is that the growth is also exponential in nature. The motion is oscillatory and periodic. And the third point is to note in this case is that if you look at this plot carefully, you can see that this amplitude is continuously increasing with time. So it's uh, what it means is that like uh, after one cycle, if your maximum amplitude is two, so after two or three cycles, it will uh, increase by some factor. 
so we will also uh, look how we can compute that at what rate it is going growing or at what rate it is decaying so we will look into those things in a, another video now the third case the second case was that over damp system so if we look at the plot for a damping factor greater than 1 the one thing that we can initially say about this plot is that this is not an oscillatory plot the another thing is that based upon your damping factor it will directly decay asymptotically uh, 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 towards your zero value now if we talk about the critically damped factor so for critically damped factor the response is similar to what we are getting in the over damped system but if we do a comparison between critically damped and over damped system what we can see is that this uh, black line represents your over damped system sorry critically damped system and this red line represents the over damped system now if we and this is your time axis now if we compare the time to reach the zero value so we can see this critically damped system is faster compared to your over damped system so we can uh, what we can emphasize from this plot is that critically dim uh, uh, damped system always takes less time compared to over damped system in order to reach the equilibrium position now both the systems are non oscillatory if i have to summarize the thing the under damped system is oscillatory in nature they can be stable or unstable the critically damped and over damped system what the, uh, are always stable and move towards the equilibrium position but the difference between critically damped and over damped system is that critically different uh, uh, damp systems gives fastest response or take a least amount of time in order to reach the equilibrium position and at the same time over damp system we can do a comparison between the different values of damping factor and come up like how with change in the damping factor the response is changing that thing we will cover in the next uh, video in which we'll take a simple example and then try to vary the value of damping factors and see how the things are changing just by changing the value of this damping factor just by playing around the value of this damping factor so for this video what i want to cover is that i just want to cover the basic concept about the under damped over damped and critical damp system to give you a uh, basic insight about this phenomena now in next video we will take an example and after that we will also discuss like how we can compute the decay time why uh, why the decay and the growth are exponential in nature so that thing we can directly see by solving the ordinary differential equation so for this video that's all that i want to cover thank you if you like the video please subscribe the channel and also don't forget to like the uh, video and you can also share it with your friends because it's free thanks